He approached her, yelled something at her, and then began shooting her with a long gun. That's what Dennis Coltman did last Friday in Cedar Rapids. After killing his wife, he killed himself. It came just a few weeks after Robert Livingston did the same after killing his wife and mother-in-law not far away. Investigators believe that the Coltmans were going through a divorce. Certainly when marriages or relationships break up, uh, bad things sometimes can happen. Jay Kennedy says it can boil down to control and dominance. And the need for that from the person committing the abuse. She says when one person feels like they're losing control, they take it back. In extreme cases, it ends in murder. But even when violence doesn't grab the headlines? We need to make sure that we, uh, as a community, uh, let communities, community members know when we see that, that that's not acceptable. The challenge is providing help when it's needed. The person has to agree or ask for help. He says too often people don't ask for help or don't recognize problems that others are having. Only then can they find a support group, see doctors, or check into a hospital to get the help they need before a tragedy. It can cost lives if you don't speak out. Obviously, it's a matter of life and death. Covering the corridor in Cedar Rapids, Kevin Barry, CBS 2 News.